Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of FIFA 22 and the Sir Francis Drake FC playthrough on FIFA 22. Your comments have been heard loud and clear. As we sit in 10th place, there's probably not a chance we take that fifth place from just seasonal play. It looks like that it's a two-horse race between United and City and who's going to take it. Liverpool does have a slim chance uh, with uh, to get second, to not win. Um, but other than that, everything's pretty much slid into place. Um, I guess this just means we've kind of established ourselves as a Premier League team, but we've definitely not broke through. As you look, just the difference between us and the teams ahead of us, we've got 15 draws, and they've just won a lot more games, and that's just kind of not what we're doing. We don't we don't win games; we just draw, and uh, that's the step. Is we've got to really start scoring more goals and dominate matches and actually play defense to do that. So that's kind of what we're gonna have to do if we go forward. I've still not decided what we're gonna do, depending on what happens today, because as you all know. Today, we start off with the big final with the Tottenham Hotspurs for a chance to get European action. We've made it all the way to the finals, and I love that the final like runs past it because they couldn't do the font the correct way, so it just, uh, yeah, like right up here above me, it just it, it overlaps. It's squared flush on round one, but over here on final, it comes over on the edge. But yeah, <clears throat> just EA things. Anyways, that's what we're going to start with today. I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see how it goes. If we win, then we got a big decision to make. If we don't, we'll go to the end of the season. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But anyways, if you all are enjoying this series and you've enjoyed it up to this part, we've done, what, six seasons of it. Hit the like button. Leave some comments below. Let me know what your best memories are and what you think we should do going forward. Should we do one more season of this or should I wait till... FIFA 23 goes on sale a few months ahead of time, and then we'll probably create a team, create the Drakes in the championship, and try to battle back up again so it's a little bit better. I'll just wait to see what you all say. But for now, again, hit that like button. Let's jump to the game, and let's see if we can get a final win. An ocean of fans descending upon the stadium. We're rolling out the red carpet for this one. We're just showing Tottenham. Oh, there we are. There's the lads. We're at Wembley here. Looks like the fans are still coming in, I hope. That or nobody's going to show up. All right, taking a look at the starting lineups here in the cup final. The Spurs, Onana in goal. 5-2-3 for them. Emerson, Carter Vickers, Hermoso, Timber, and Regulian. Uh, Rodri and Gravenberch in the midfield. Elliot, Guedes, and Lemaire uh, up front. We've got Sanchez in goal, our 4-1-1-4. Cambiaso, Royal, Carvajal, and Morientes. Alonso starting today, bravo. Fernandez, Broya, Ribeiro with the start. We did have to rotate just a tad. And Thomas Kiss out there on the left wing. Let's get back to it. We'll see what's going to happen. Uh, as you can see here, the FA Cup is uh, bringing out all the funsies. We are in the final. A chance to really submit something for the Drakes. We'll just have to see. Look at that. Let's just hope these refs don't screw us over. You can see the bracket there battling through. We've took down some mighty competition with both City and United. They did take down Arsenal, it looked like. I didn't get to see it. It went kind of quick. All right. They're going to get it kicked off here. Part of me thinks we can't win this game. Because we've just never played Tottenham well. We uh walking out in front of hundred thousand fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world. We just always seem to like they just seem to get away with everything here. Go up to Ribeiro. He'll go over to Kiss. Kiss cuts it in. There's a pass I wanted to make. Oh my god, get that ball. A chopping challenge and the referee is <laughs> what? Thomas Kiss already getting a yellow card for what? He went for the ball. Oh my god. Well, that's how things are going to be. The reports of 
been confirmed. He has decided to end what's been a brilliant uh -oh. career at the end of this season. If I, oh, good job. Royo broke the... Uh-oh, they got the ball right back. Uh, oh, we can't get it out. Come on, cover y'all. No, don't give it right back to him. Offsides. A, what? A red card and, and a penalty kick for what? Are you... Are you serious? This to make it one nil. And it home. Well, his heart might have been Our best defender sent off for what? I'm in shock right now. I So in 13 minutes, we've lost our back defender. I'm definitely going to have to change things. And bring a Kodo in. And uh yeah. I they could sing where the Saints when the Saints come marching in all they want, but like I think we just got screwed to a high degree. And um I I don't know if we could climb out of this one. We're gonna try, but like Oh, it's oh, what are the odds that that squirts off him and hits the post? I, <laughs> I can't even wait to read your all's comments about this game. Like, I... Oh, he's taking down. Give him a red. So Timber, lots of cards coming out in this one. Tension's really building up here. Oh yeah, their coach. He's just bleh, bleh. All right. Well, that's not how they rehearsed it on the training ground. Yeah, and I'm not sure what well, no, because on the training ground, when you rehearse it, it goes in. All right, so we're playing a really weird formation right now. It's kind of like a 4 1 0 3. Oh, good defense there. Oh, come on. I couldn't even get the shot off. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the worst game I've ever had. I've never had a game this bad before. So we're going to play really centralized now. We're going to play really back deep too. Then again, if we just bump them in the box and they get penalties, then it won't matter, will it? All right, Edson Fernandez gonna have to take over. Uh oh. Yeah, 
Suns. Oh, two men down and we get a goal. Oh my God. I cannot believe this game. I still don't think we're going to win. But Ribeiro boots that in. Oh my God. I I actually, we counter. We're going to have to sit back and just counter just like that. That's the only way two men down because we don't have wingers now. Oh, good defense. Cut that off. We'll go to Ribeiro again. Oh, bro, yeah. Just, we just, we got to be very meticulous with our passes up front like that because we don't have, we can't go out wide there. Uh, Morienta is just, uh... Are you shitting me? I would have got livid if that bounced back in. I would have, like, if the computer did the trick that I used to do on the N64, where I would run the guy up to when the kick keeper would, like, goal kick it and hit it in, I would have, like, raged. But Ribeiro has kept us in it. I know we're going to have to do some subs at some point because we're going to be tired. Uh, probably be a good game for Cornick to come back in. We've only got two subs, so we got to be careful. I'm going to guess Alonzo will probably get tired chasing, too. So, yeah, this is exciting. Um, they're controlling, which makes sense. Uh, we'll just have to... Yeah, everybody looks okay. Carvajal a little wear and tear on him and Ribeiro a little bit, but I think other than that, we're okay. The good thing about it's... Oh, that was almost a bad thing for them. The good thing is, like, with Edson Fernandez playing that middle spot, he can come back and play defense because he used to be a right back. He's, like, the perfect storm for that spot. Okay. But here's where Morientes is going to have to run because we really don't have anybody else. Let's see if we can hit Ribeiro. Let's see his speed. He'll pull it back. In the Broya. Uh-oh. Fernandez. Fernandez! What the hell? Oh, my God! <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way it's a Fernandez just did that. Oh my God. It bounced and then he just keeps running. They actually knocked that away from Boroya and it bounced to Fernandez and he shoots it in. Oh my lord, how in the world have we two men down? And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2 1 currently. I, I, we just, I'm going to be careful now. We just, I'm going to sit back and do what we've been doing. Sit back, wait for them, and then counter. Something from here. Not really trying to create anything. I'm honestly trying to waste time now. But, uh,. We give that ball up. That was not what I wanted to do. And that puts them in position. Oh, this is bad. Oh, get that Oh, it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, we were playing defense so well, but Lamar, he's been the hot one. That's his third goal in, what, two games now? Cotto knocked it away. He just throws him off and then shoots it. <laughs> My God. I right, this game. All right. Big defense here. Big defense here. We need to make some subs. Oh, good save by Sanchez. Sure All right, we got two subs. Who do we do? Fernandez has got to be one of them. I'm, yeah, I'll bring Cornick in for that. And then... Um, I think that's all I'll do right now. I just want three shooters up there. Oh, 
over it comes. Again, they just they get the ball. Oh my god, Sanchez saved it. Like sometimes when they just run into each other, the computer always recovers faster. But another corner to come here. Who can they pick out? Oh my god. Dakota. Tremendous block. And Ribeiro's got it. Ribeiro gets out. Really and we'll just they'll just double bam uh Cambiasso. They've got numbers on us, so they're always going to be able to do that. Oh, Kimbi! Oh, he couldn't keep it in. Two minutes. We're going to go to extra time, aren't we? Unless they can get a winner here. It would be a storybook ending for them. Oh, Sanchez makes another great save. No, I can't I can't take Bro out now. Corner. Can they win it on a corner? We'll head it up. Boot it out. It looks promising. And now Rodri. Oh, I thought they had that. Ah! That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming. Extra time. Oh my god. We go on the extra time. I think the team that's out there is the team that we've got. Um, yeah, this is. All right. So two extra times. Again, I'm just going to sit back, let them walk into the jaws. And hopefully we can get some counterattacks going. And again, they score here early. It doesn't matter, does it? That's a useful cross. Able to we'll play that one up. Here's Broya. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game. And we'll go through to Ribeiro again. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Get in there! Yes! Yes! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebration! Oh my god! Oh my lord, it was a beautiful pass. The through pass from Broya. He deserved the goal at the end. Oh my god, we're down two men. Oh. But it's so early. It's so early at extra time. Oh. Okay, now this is where it's dangerous, is when they have the ability to counter <clears throat> themselves. <clears throat> But we did waste a little bit of the time. It might be on for them. And now Lamar. This is dangerous. Ball. Good strength to keep the ball. It's a neat move. Well, the cross goes in, but there's no one available. Corner, get it out of there. Yes. Oh my God. In extra time, the second period still to come. The fans are in shock. I'm in shock. How are these lads from Tavistock pulling this off? All right, second time here. <clears throat> they have to come for us. I can be willy-nilly with the ball. We're tired. Okay, here they come. I would like to keep it on this side of the field. Uh-oh. They made a mistake. Broya! Oh, that would have sealed it. Is there any subs I want to make? Everybody's playing so well. I, I, I They're going to be wore out for the rest of the season. If there was one, it would be, let me get... Oh, come. Yeah, I'm going to bring in Crespo. Crespo does better. He can't put, we're not pushing up on the wings. So I would rather have that defender back there. For a change then, Daka. The clock is against Tottenham, but they might yet. Oh, God, they got a good push here. And 
Let's go. It's a go. No, Sanchez is there. Oh my God, we're in extra time. I didn't even realize. We've got to stop this corner kick and then we've made history somehow. Come on. Clear it out. Clear it out. Oh my God. I we blew the coverage daca was there daca puts it in oh carvajal you stud muffin he got just enough on it he's wearing the captain's armband he knocks it just off oh yes go short please go short going short could be dangerous and there yeah! goes the final <laughs> Oh my God, the cut issue you. is settled. <gasps> oh A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotion. I just won the worst Brilliant game I've ever played. Despair for the losers, but overall, the right team won today. How in the world have we done this? Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. I, I, th I don't know what to say. Again, if you've not hit a like button, well, hit, hit the like button for that. The club. What a I hate to plug it in now, but I have to. I think Carvajal is going to be the one to lift it. Football. He did make that final save. You want to win a cup. We had Ribeiro, Broya, and Fernandez all make it. Two red cards. Carvajal coming out there, the defensive stud muffin. Mostly because our other one got kicked off. And we're the FA Cup winners. Holy crap! Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. And to win it like we just did. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savor the moment. <laughs> the announcer just said they've taken the rough with the smooth. Yeah, that's that's the best way to put it. To the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. I uh, they've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind. I'm still team. trying to figure out they've those fans. Like their their kits aren't just made right. It's just a black shirt with some of the green stuff. coming through. Like it didn't it's process at all. In heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations Bro, he's doing this little number. <laughs> he's like marching. <laughs> That's awesome. I cannot believe we won it in that way. Oh, I thought that I forgot. This is in America. I thought they're going to have jets fly over. I was really excited. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy <laughs> having the pictures taken. We well, got Morientes down there in front. Broya. Where did Cornet get? Wants to show the grandchildren. I don't even see Cornet in the picture. What did they sub him out for the picture? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, not the start. Oh man! Raised, and now I I cannot it. believe that that just happened. We evened it up. We only had seven shots to their eleven. I'll just look at all the stats here. Fifty-one to forty-nine. They had one hundred seventy-three passes. We had seventy-eight. Thirteen tackles. Oh, I mean, two of our tackles got us. One of them. We only won two tackles, everybody. Remember that one bump was a penalty kick somehow. I I still do not believe that. Actually, was that one of the replays I could have looked at? He literally, he literally bumps him. Okay, uh, set speed. I turned the indicators off, but they're still on. So number 19 there, he just rides him and bumps him. And that was good for a red card and a penalty kick, everybody. Let's go. Congratulations, Sir Francis Drake FC, beating Tottenham 3-2. to two, And we will win the FA Cup. Do we get money for that? $2.1 million for that. Let's go. Royo's got a one match ban and so does Thomas Kiss. But does that apply in? I guess it does. It apply in our competition. I didn't think the competitions 
overlapped like that. Like, um, I thought that um, that would just be in the cup game. So, like, when we play our next game, um, which is against Tottenham, <laughs> uh, you know, it they it wouldn't matter, but I guess it does. I'm I don't even know. I don't even know. I gotta get up and walk around before we do the next game. Um I may simulate the Tottenham game, the next one. Because what do we got on the calendar? I, I really don't know what to do at this point. Like I really felt like going in that game we were gonna lose, and we should have. I think I'll simulate this Tottenham game and then we'll play this West Ham game and then we'll see what it says at the end of the season. And then we'll have some things to talk about. So, uh, cause I'm, I don't, it doesn't matter now. All right. So we're going to simulate the game against, uh, Tottenham Hotspurs here. We're at home again. It doesn't really matter. So we'll see what happens. And they won three, one. So that's probably, uh, Gervais yellow card, Gervais to Bravo. I'm looking at it the wrong way. Moran scored, Lemur scored. So they got their, their, yeah, we didn't even have possession. We didn't have anything. It, uh, it definitely didn't work out too well for us, did it? Now, everybody played like trash. Everybody played really like trash. That's good to see. Good to see. All right, like the worst possible timing, we got a youth player who's unsettled. Actually, two of them. Uh, Ficazzolo. I don't remember what he is exactly. Let me go back and look at my list. I don't think I wrote down his value. So that's kind of upsetting. And the other one is, oh, Clifford Ofua. Ofua was worth uh, 3.4 million. So he's definitely going to be good enough to bring up. So I, I, I don't care. The only problem is, is it's going to be issues for when they're there. He is a center mid, so he is fine to bring up. Um, I don't care one bit. I actually may start him this next game. And then uh, the other one was Ficky Zolo. He's a cam. I don't have a thing down for him, but we'll promote him too, just to get him up here. And uh, I may actually put him on the bench for this. I may do like a totally rotated squad for this last game because... I don't think it matters. Uh, Afua, I'm very excited about because he definitely could play what we need. Um, as for the other guy, we're still sitting in 10th place. If Leicester wins, they I don't think they'll jump us because of the goal difference. And we cannot get 9th from Leeds because we can only get 3 points. So I think I'll just send me this last game. The Spurs did jump up to 6th. But even if they win their last game, um, <clears throat> I don't think it matters on that fifth place thing. That's what you all are saying. Maybe maybe EA is not programmed it in. So this other dude, let's take a look at him. Uh, Fizzy Cola or whatever his name is. Um, 17. And then uh, let's get the West Ham. I'm glad you decided to put me on. I'm glad we agree. Whatever, buddy. Uh, we got reports. I'm still scouting people in case we need to go after some others. And then uh, depending on what you all say. All right. So I think we'll sim this game. I think I'll slow sim this one and uh, we'll be able to pay attention to it. And I'll really uh, mess up the squad. So we have like a lot of our youth playing just to see what they can do against West Ham. West Ham is in 17th. I think they're trying to survive. From uh, relegation. No, they're going to make it. So the three teams, Burnley, West Brom, Bristol City. So before I do this last match, I need to go scout all three of those teams and see if there's any players we need to pirate from them. So I'll do all that off screen and then we'll come back and we'll sim the last game of the season. All right, let's go to the West Ham Drake FC game. I did go scout the uh, teams that were getting relegated. Sadly... Um, Noradal that we traded was on Burnley, so he's going back down to championship play. And then Shaden Morris, if you all remember him, he is going down with West Brom. So 
I know both of those teams come and bought those guys trying to stay up, and it just didn't work out for them. Let's, I'm going to totally just like, we'll put Ribeiro up here. Uh, bro, yeah, do we have another striker we could try to play? Um, Nierles, maybe? But yeah, I'm going to like totally just, uh, Totally just, uh, we're going to throw in other people here just to see what they can do. Because a lot of them probably need to get some time. And I mean, we got a lot of offensive people that we need to uh, get rid of. Can anybody play? Uh, you can play CDM, but. I don't know who we have that could play over there on that side. Uh, Blanco, can you play defense? I don't think so. For right now, I'll put him right there. Um, I'm just trying to move all these players up here. So we have them. We're landing any. I even think I'll give Schinkel a, a start. Let's see, Samaras, Obero, Timmerman, and Fernandez need to be changed. Um, and I know Blanco can't really play this position because he doesn't have good defending. Uh, Alonzo's still on the bench. I definitely don't want him there. Um, <laughs> I thought we had another person that could play <clears throat> center back, but I guess not. But it's just a rotated side anyway, so... We're just doing this to uh, give these guys a chance. Uh, you can see the lineup for West Ham there. This would be our exciting thing to see what uh what the team does when I'm really well. It's like it's like our it's like our reserve team coming okay, out here. Oh my god, I didn't know it moments, even did this. It's, it's like uh, my god, this again. looks this almost looks better than the 2D on um <clears throat> what you may call it. Uh, it's with Ledesma. Now let's see what they can so do. So I here. wonder if I He's I should have done it intelligently. Sanchez. It's with Ribeiro. Intelligent threaded pass here. All right, we'll jump to the end. All right, it ended in a draw. Amaral got a tie. They controlled possession. Verbic, and then after that, Verbic, uh, there was just nothing. So, not bad, not bad at all. I don't think we they, we didn't even bring any subs in. Uh, so, hey, you know what else can you ask for? Holy cow! Based on the team's performance in the competition, the club has received additional funds. This will allow us to increase the transfer budget allocated due to the coming season. We got one hundred and forty nine point seven million dollars. Let's go! All right, so. Uh, our profit went up to almost four. Yeah, I guess we did do our things. Finish mid table. We did that. Increase your club's worth. I we were doing so well this season. I kind of forgot about these things. Uh, assigned three players in your youth academy. Assigned to the defender position. I we didn't do that one. We did those. Emirates FA Cup reached around the sixteen stage. Current stage one. That's great. So the final day standings in the Premier League, Man United win it by three over Man City. Liverpool and Chelsea join them. Aston Villa got that fifth place. We'll see if this is programmed correctly and we'll actually get the European play. Spurs, Southampton, Brentford, Leeds, and then we are 10th. Um, and then we've already looked at kind of the rest of the thing. West Ham barely surviving. Uh, Burnley, West Brom, and Bristol City all going down. Coming down to the championship. Arsenal, Brighton, and AFC Bor No, Bar Arsenal and Brighton coming back up. Good Lord, Arsenal destroyed that table. Even though we took their goalkeeper, um, they're going to be coming back up top. And then either Bournemouth, Barnsley, Watford, or Cardiff City will be joining them. Going down will be Luton Town, Hull City, and Portsmouth. 
In League One, Blackpool and Swansea going up. Plymouth Argyle, Sunderland, Burton Albion, Sheffield Wednesday going to join them. One of them will join them. Going down to uh, a relegation to League Two will be Mansfield Town, Northampton, Newport County, and Fleetwood Town. And then coming up from League Two will be Crewe, Exeter City, and Carlisle United, and Gillingham, Swindon Town, Cheltenham, and Stevenage. One of them will join it. And if we were relegating on down, Harrogate Town and Sutton United would be crashing down. Oh my god, PSG is not winning the League One? What? Well... There's your shock of the season right there. What a crazy season. PSG dethroned, finally. Let's check out the Bundesliga. Uh, Bayern Munich wins that one hefty. Uh, Serie A, we got Inter Milan. That makes sense. Juventus right behind them, I think. Uh, let's see, anybody else we want to look at? Netherlands, I think. Uh, PSV, Ajax right behind them. La Liga, you've got FC Barcelona winning over Real Madrid. And I don't think Major League Soccer is, yeah, they're just now starting up. Who knows with them? Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the Cups. I know we, we obviously know that we won the FA Cup. Arsenal won the Carabao Cup. Uh, the international, I think these are the preseason ones, aren't they? Yeah. The UEFA Super Cup was uh, Juventus. I believe that's who Piemonte Calcio is. The Champions League was won by, oh, we don't know yet, but it's FC Barcelona and Real Madrid. Oh, that's interesting. And the Europa League is you got Atletico de Madrid and Frankfurt. And uh, Olympique de Martial and FC Midland. Yeah, I butchered that one. Y'all have fun with that one. I know Zenus for sure loves when I butcher names. So those are the 26th of May. So let's, uh, oh, we can actually just go up a couple of days and see. All right, Juventus won over Leverkusen in the Super Cup. Uh, Real Madrid wins the Champions League. The Europa League goes to Frankfurt 5-4 on penalties. And Olympique de Martial wins the Europa Conference League. Interesting. All right. So let's uh let's fast forward to the season, end of the season, and just see what they say. Oh. A lot of stuff. I saw some youth reports in there too. And then uh we'll go from there. But yeah, I'm just like here's some of the players. 81 goalkeeper from Burnley. So I mean, yeah, there's some players that aren't bad that we could probably go swipe. Oh, like that guy. No, he's not. But uh, some of them, Mancini, he could be like a backup. What do we got here? We got Bamba, Zhang. You know, depending on, I really thought we might have some surprise um, retirements. I was looking at really tall, like 6'4", 76 overall. Um, your boy, um, center backs, because we'll have to make some decisions on that. That guy, he's tall, but not that talented. But we could poach some of those players just to see. I was also I always look at wingbacks because I'm just excited about those. And uh, you never know because some of those players may be like a hidden gem. 6'4", 74 overall. You know, probably not a great player. Could be a backup if we want to build deeper. Mohamed Diamande, uh, 79 overall. Hmm. Okay. Something to keep in mind. But yeah, I went through a ton of these, so I won't. Let you all have to watch all of it. All right, scouting reports coming out of Romania. We are still waiting to see if anything lucrative comes out of there, and right now it's not looking like it. Another two that I'm always excited about is Ivory Coast. Anything out of Africa, since we're rating Africa. 375, so not bad players, but it's just not good enough. 76 to 94 could be a good one. 1.1 million. Uh, Thierry uh, Sanogo, welcome to the team. Uh, I'll sign him in just a second. What do we got? 800K. Okay. And then 300. So I'll definitely sign these two just to check them. Though, this dude here is already 17. So I probably will let him cook a little bit so we can see what he's like. 
But Thierry Sonogo, I will definitely sign. And then Colombia. See what we got here. 68 to 94, 500, not, not quite there. 66 to 92, 450. 66 to 90, nope. 64, okay, Columbia let us down a little bit. That's okay, though. Um, our boy come out pretty well. Where are we at? We're at Columbia and Ivory Coast. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. I know that you all got mad at me saying that Pablo Bravo was the first wonder kind. Um, so I'm, I apologize for that. Yes, Pablo Bravo, we found him in Chile. You know, in, on, in honor of him, we should go back to Chile. And we'll look again. And I think I will do six months. And because I feel like six months sometimes does find better because they're there for longer. And maybe that's just me. I know some of you are saying it's the better scout. So perhaps, but uh, either or, let's take a look at our new boy uh, and see how Sonogo is. He is a center mid. Defending sucks. Fortunately, I think he may be somebody we sell. I'll train him as a center forward. And uh, yeah, we'll probably be selling him going forward. All right, Ricardo Landonetti's back from injury. Thank the heavens. Really missed him. Really, really missed him. Just to laugh at you all, I just got offered the, uh, the England uh, head coach. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing, uh, that on this playthrough. I just found that funny. All right. We've come to the end of the season and I'm ready to let you know the board is delighted with your performance as manager so far. The players and staff clearly respect you. You seem to have done us an excellent job aligning yourself with the club's culture and vision, both on and off the pitch. We'd be happy to agree to continue your job started here. Remain at the club next season. Huzzah. Lots of prize money in these. I think I'll play in this one so we get to play uh, some things. All right, so we go to the South America Cup. That'll be fair. We uh, got Real Sociedad, Cruz Azul, and Atletico Mineiro. Transfer market is now open. And uh, let's just see how much money we have to spend on players. Our transfer budget is actually only 79.7. .7, so not as much as I thought we would have. But uh, before I even edit the teams, I'll let you all decide what we're going to do moving forward. Um, now, one thing I need to check is did we actually even get... What is this community shield thing that we're in? That's very interesting. I've not seen that before. We're not in the FA Cup yet. The South American Continental Cup is what we just joined. That's going to be fun. Um, I feel like, uh, let's see, Champions League. We're definitely not on that. Playoff rounds. That's all there is. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Is the community shield thing the thing we got put into, or I'm not even sure what that is. But uh, the the rest of the season seems like it's out here. But I don't see anything else that we got into. So who knows? I'll let you all debate that. Anyways, uh, let's just take a look at the team and what we have right now. Goalkeeper wise, 29 year old Sanchez, 83 overall. Schinkel, who is 67. Bergman, who we loaned out, is 71 now, so better than Schinkel. Here's Lang. Oh my God, he is 80 at age 20. Looking really good. Um, what is he? Diving 92. Oh my God. His diving is better than Sanchez. Handling 83, 83, the same as Sanchez. 87 kicking, way better than Sanchez. Um, 81 reflexes, 85 for Sanchez. Positioning 80 on Sanchez. Lang only has positioning of 60. 
Um, so he definitely. So there's our goalkeepers. Uh, looking at left back, Voyabrov, 75 overall now. He's still out on loan. I think we may have done a two year. We got Morientes, who's the starter out there. Looking at our center backs. 89 overall Royo. He's a stud. He's a train. Carvajal, our team captain at 78. That may change though. Akoto uh, is our backup. Um, he is age 30 now, so he may be a possibility to put on the transfer list if we play another season. Lucas Crespo going over to right back was the backup, the Cambiasso, and 80 and 72. Both of those guys, Cambiasso is 27. Crespo is 19. Going to be really good. You can see with the uh, yellow thing that Cambiasso has done growing. Looking at our CDMs, which we're going to have to really think about this. Julio Alonso has been starting that. And our 4-1, this is the one, the first one. So Alonso has been playing there. We brought in Jake Garrett. We've also got Santa Maria and Fernandez, who are 18 and 20. And Asveto, who is 69. Uh, 18, 20, 20, and that. So maybe those guys get put on the transfer list. If they're not already, transfer list, transfer list. Asveto is not. So I guess we were kind of hoping on him. Uh, we got Blanco here. He, I think his contract runs out here soon. Because we don't have, no, it says he's got two years. I wonder why we can't even put him on the transfer list. That's uh, weird. Uh, up front. We got Landon Eddy, who's going to be coming back at 75, though he may be a little bit different because sometimes when they get hurt, their stats take a hit. We got Gervais, who they're saying at 77 is already capped out. That is unfortunate. I may put him back on the transfer list because now we have Hamadou Faye who can uh, come out here and play. And Hamadou Faye, I wonder if we can just... Uh, He's already got the CM, so. Really wished he could uh, do a little bit better defensively, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Maybe some box-to-box -box training. Because Landon Eddy is very much better up front. Gervais with him capped out. Uh, we also got Clifford Afua, who's going to be worth $3.4 He's probably the future doing so. Faye may get sold. And Amaral, I don't know about him either. So we got, so we got Landon Eddy, Amaral, and Clifford Afua, who are three studs. And then Faye and Gervais, we got to figure out what we want to do. Uh, we've already put Fizzicola on the thing. Uh, looking at our cams, Pablo Bravo capped out at, it says he's not capped out, but at 81. We got DeVos, who I think I put him on the transfer list. And Saya, we're waiting to see what he does. And like I said, I don't think Fizzy Cola is going to catch up anytime soon. Uh, left wings, we got 26-year-old Thomas Kiss and Timmerman, who is capped out at 81. Maybe a decision to upgrade that position if we could find. We've only got Fernandez over on the right side, who uh, is 79 overall. So I've thought about maybe finding another right wing if we continue. Up front, uh, we got Carvajal who's 71. These players don't really get time. Gonzalez and Mierles. Um, he's on the transfer list. Gonzalez is not. Carvajal is not. I may put those there because we just don't use those positions. I think we loaned them out last time. I'll put them on the... Uh, so, Ribeiro is growing. He's 76 overall. Kornick, 32 years old, 78. And then Broya who is just a stud. So we got three great strikers, I think. We'll have to see what we're going to do there. So I'll let you all decide what is going on in that aspect. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, this was an exciting episode. I know that I... Uh, I don't know. I wish we could see, like, what else... I feel like we skipped the part and it didn't show. Uh, our expectations this year, youth development, sign at least three players younger than 20 with potential greater than the average overall rate. So that's going to be kind of tough. Sign two players in the youth academy into the defender position. That won't be hard at all. Short term, five uh, games without the feet at home. Probably can do that. Sign one player of a different nationality for one of the club. Yeah, that, that'd be easy. And then, uh, uh, oh, UEFA Euro Europa League reached the quarterfinal. So we must be in that for them to give us that goal.
and domestic success. Uh, they won a UEFA league spot, and uh, they want us to reach round 16 in the FA Cup. Uh, and then they want us to get a profit of 118. That shouldn't be too hard if we finish anywhere in the league. So, all right. So that's kind of where we're set. Again, we got to make the decision. The first decision is do we do, do we do another season? And then if we decide on doing another season, we've got to figure out what players to shuffle, hustle, bustle, and all that. And we've got a lot of competitions coming up. So we're probably going to need a lot of players while we're in those competitions to rotate in and out. So I'll let you all just leave comments. I'm sure there's going to be some uh, large texts coming in, and I enjoy every bit of that. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. This is season six in the books for the Drakes. Somehow we won the FA Cup playing our worst game ever, two men down, and it just worked out that way. But as always, thank you all so much. Hit that like button if you have not. Leave lots of comments. I will read them. You can even message me in Discord if you've got more to say. But as always, thanks so much. I'll see you all next time. Make those good decisions, everybody. Bye. I was short some Patreon supporters, but I found these people behind the dumpster and they were kind of funny. So special thanks to our October Patreon supporters, Eccentric, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Azur Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Kiana Handy, Party Commissar. If you'd like to be part of the Patreon supporters, follow the links below or check me out at patreon.com slash Gaming.